The chair of the House Ethics Committee has filed a resolution to expel Republican Representative George Santos from Congress. Now, this comes just one day after this committee released a long-awaited report accusing the congressman of campaign fraud and theft. Republican Congressman Michael Guest filed the expulsion resolution this morning. He released a statement saying the evidence uncovered by the Ethics Committee is, quote, more than sufficient to warrant punishment. Congressman Santos announced shortly after the report was released yesterday that he would not seek re-election in 2024, but he said that the report was, quote, biased and defended himself from allegations of wrongdoing. Now, this comes less than a year before the embattled Republican is expected to go to trial over related criminal charges that he's facing in New York. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland joins us now. So, Scott, now that a resolution to expel Congressman Santos from Congress has officially been filed, what happens next? Elaine, one of his New York Republican colleagues told CBS News today, this means George Santos could be gone from Congress and the congressional part of his saga could be over by the end of this month. This expulsion resolution doesn't just come from any member of the U.S. House. It comes from the chair of the House Ethics Committee. Internally, that's potentially the most impactful, best positioned person to say one of the colleagues should be expelled. Michael Guest of Mississippi has released his resolution. There already was a resolution in the works from New York Republicans to expel Santos earlier this month. They got dozens of votes for it the first time. And as the hours go by since the release of that damning, scathing, exhaustive ethics committee report, Lana and Elaine. There have been more members who voted no on expulsion earlier this month who say they'd vote yes when it comes up again. And it could come up again as early as November 28th. Scott, I want to follow up with you on that because usually when we're seeing these, these types of um, resolutions filed to try and oust a member of Congress, it comes from the opposing party. In this case, Representative Michael Guest, he's a Republican. There are Republicans who are telling you that they are really leading the charge to oust one of their own from Congress. Talk to us about that significance. This ethics committee report is so unequivocal. It's so lengthy. It's so blistering. It's Republicans who are now leading the charge to expel Congressman Santos. One of his freshman Republican colleagues told me, I'm sick of getting asked about George Santos. He needs to be gone. That might be underwriting why it's Republicans who are joining the calls. But it comes down to this. Are there enough Republicans? Is there a critical mass of Republicans who vote to expel Santos? Because he remains a pivotal vote for Republicans. They can only lose four votes on any matter and still win the vote with Republican votes only, if Santos were to go, it'd be down to three. But there's also, one of his colleagues told me today, a non-zero possibility Congressman Santos finally hears the music, hears the calls for his expulsion and decides instead to resign. But he has given no indication of that. And each time he speaks to us, he tells us he will not resign, short of his criminal trial, which is set for September. We know George Santos. He's our natural disaster. We know it best. And we've been trying to get that point across for months now. Uh, and I think the ethics report just con confirms everything that we've said. And I've gotten calls from members throughout the country who, who realize and have said, you know, uh, we understood where you were coming from. We just logistically, though, Lana and Elaine, the House has to be here in Washington to hold an expulsion vote. They can propose things from afar. They actually have to be here to have a vote, and they're not back here until the Monday after Thanksgiving. Hmm. All right. Well, Congressman Santos, he's now the 27th House member to announce he is not seeking re-election. Hmm. This includes 17 Democrats and 10 Republicans. Scott, is this a significant number? There are often waves of retirements and resignations. The number itself may not be distinctive, but it's the reason some members have given. You know, some are having failing health and need to step away tend to family needs or their personal needs. But there are some who've been pretty clear speaking to us at CBS News. They are frustrated by this job, that it's gotten the best of them, that the stalemates, the gridlock, the last 10 weeks we just went through where a speaker was ousted, there was a standoff on electing a new one, votes were canceled, expulsion and censure resolutions were flying, has become too much. And one Michigan congressman who announced he's not going to seek a new term, Dan Kildee of the Flint area had told me you know, he also has to tend to his family. He's coming off of a cancer treatment. Mm. He's now cancer free. But he also said the stress and strain and trauma of January 6th sticks with him mm. almost three years later. 
these types of factors may speak to the political moment we're in and it may be more impactful than just the number of retirements. It really does kind of suggest that this moment is different when you hear uh, anecdotes like that. Scott McFarland in Washington for us. Scott, thank you so much. Thank you.